Hello and welcome to Gradient Tutorials. My name is James and I'll be your host for today's talk about deploying a model to production using Gradient deployments. In this session, we will see how to create and train a TensorFlow model using Gradient workflows, to deploy that model using Gradient deployments, and then to send inference data to that model as an API endpoint. Before we get started, make sure to log into Gradient in your browser and make sure that you have installed and set up the Gradient CLI. Once that's done, clone the Gradient repo for today into your directory of choice. Since I've already done so, it's not going to do anything, and then change into your new directory. Once that's done, go back into the Gradient console and navigate to the Gradient page. You should be taken to this page called Projects. Projects are essentially how we divide work on different subjects within the Gradient platform. To create a new project, you can either select this in the top right or create it directly using the CLI. So I'm going to make a new project called Fashion MNIST. And as you can see in the top left here, it gives us a project ID. We're going to need to use this a lot today, so make sure you have that copied somewhere. But always remember you can get it by going back to the GUI. So, now that we've created our first project, we can get started setting up the project space itself. First, open up the, uh, the terminal again, and let's create our first workflow. To do that, you can simply type in gradient workflows create, then the name, in this case, Fashion MNIST again, and your project ID. This is why I said we need to save our project ID. Once that's done, it should output a little table with the name and ID of our new workflow. Now that we've created our deployment, we need to instantiate our data storage on data sets on Gradient. To do so, we can create a data set in the Gradient CLI by typing Gradient data sets create, and then the name, fashion, MNIST, and the storage provider ID. In this case, I'm going to be using the Gradient managed storage, but you can use any storage you have tied to your Gradient account. Since I've already created a data set by that name, it didn't work, but you should get an output of that ID, kind of like this one right here. Now that setup is complete, we can actually execute our workflow by running gradient workflows run, and then copy, oh, pardon, copy our ID, and put it in here. Using the GUI, we can see that our workflow has completed training. And if we click on this train model job data, you can see train model successfully uploaded. To actually interact with and use that model, click on the models tab and copy that ID. You're going to need that model ID because we're going to go into the YAML script provided by our uh, GitHub repo and go to line 16 in Fashion MNIST deployment spec. Take the copied model ID that you took from the models tab and then paste it in there where it says ID. Now that we've set up our YAML script, we can actually deploy our model directly using the gradient CLI. So go back into your terminal and type in gradient deployments create name, and we're going to name it fashion MNIST again, your project ID, and path it using spec towards the fashion MNIST deployment spec.yaml file then execute it. Once your deployment has been created, you should be met with this create a deployment message followed by the deployment ID. You can also navigate to your GUI and see that it's now waiting for you here. The next step is really important. Go into the GUI deployments page in your new model and go to this details tab. Copy this endpoint URL and then go back into whatever ID you're using and open fashion in this infer.yaml. Go down to line 30 and from where it says v1 on or before the v1 paste in this new URL to create your serve URL for the YAML script. Once that's done save the page 
and go back into your terminal. We're going to create a new workflow to take advantage of this infer.yaml script. So, do gradient workflows, create name, fashion, mnist, oh, yeah. call it fashion mnist infer, and the project ID is your project ID. And then we can go back in our GUI to workflows, see that this infer is now ready. And we can execute it by taking that ID for the new workflow, which just output it here, and doing a gradient workflows run ID path to fashion mnist infer.yaml. Once that's done, you can navigate to your new workflow in the GUI. And let's wait for this to finish running. Once your workflow is completed running, you can check to see that it worked correctly by using the workflows GUI and the logs. And you can see here when I click on this send inference data button, what we did with the YAML was send it a series of images to predict on, and we can see that it correctly predicted that an ankle boot is an ankle boot, a pullover is a pullover, a trouser is a trouser, and so forth. So we can conclude that our model has successfully worked and now been successfully deployed as an API endpoint using gradient deployments. Thank you so much for listening. I hope this was helpful, and please have a great day.